So guys, I was trying to create a video on how to search Google, right? But, um, I ended up finding something for my own answers, and this got me so excited, so it kind of ruined the video. So, I thought I'd bring you along on this journey and show you what I found, and show you why I do family history. Why I love it so much. Um, and maybe it will get you loving family history too. I hope so. So I typed in George Jackson right now, okay? And I usually don't find anything. I found tons of stuff today. Okay, I clicked on that and I found something there about my uncle. I didn't know. But this is the big jackpot, okay? So I'm actually already on it. So I'm going to just hit the arrow. And, oh, I gotta go to page one, page two. I'm going to blow this up. Okay, so, um, I have been looking for George Jackson Rednauer, linked to his parents for a really, really, really long time, and I haven't been able to find it. Well, I just found something that's going to help with this. I'm so excited right now. Oh, it's unbelievable. Now, I'm actually not looking on page two, although I did find someone on the ball line that died. Now, I don't know if he, I assume fought for a confederate. I don't know how he's related. He's in Green County. Tennessee Greenville. Mm. I'm going to make it bigger so you can actually see. So this is my relative right here. He died May 5th, 19. Um, 60 word, and he fought for the Union. So did this one. Oh no, he fought for the Union. So did his... His brother fought for the Confederate. Okay, this proves something. Okay, so in our line, it says that, um, the reason why it's so hard to find who James is right now, or his parents are, are due to the fact that, um, they split sides, and some fought for the Union, and some fought for the Confederate. I could never really prove that. I have, if this George Rednauer, George W. R. is related to James Rednauer, and I can prove that, then I have proof that that story is true. This, this is why I do family history, guys. To find the missing link, I may have just found the missing link that I have been trying to find forever to connect George Jackson Rednauer to his parents so I can seal them and make sure all their work is done and continue on with this line and uncle dan just thought well i feel like maybe their name changed when they came to america and so um because of that um because that's the case you know it's english spelling and so i don't know how it works. Now, I'm not saying that didn't happen, um, because let's say his father came from across and moved here and settled down, had slaves, whatever. So they split sides. Some fought for the Union, some fought for the Confederate. And, um, you know, so there is that possibility. And maybe that's just what he thought, because Rednauer is kind of a French name. Um, it may not be spelled, probably. <laughs> And now we're that way in France, but it is it does derive from France, a French name. But this is why I do family history, guys. Because when I search, I just decided to search Google to make a video about Google, right? How to search using Google and a new tool that family search is using. But I found this and was just so excited, it kind of ruined the video. Like, there's no point in doing a video on how to search Google and showing you tips and tricks if... I was actually going to find something and just get really excited and want to go and search for myself to see what that missing link could be and um you know i originally had his father in his genre now or because that's what it said and mary brown because that's what it said on the death certificate but then i found some information that disproved that and i know that it's um not saying she couldn't have married a brown at some point like, died being a brown, but that's just not her, as far as I know, not her maiden name. Um, 
So, I mean, it, it will fit into there somehow, right? Like, the brown, obviously, because it was on his death record. I mean, I assume his wife put it there. Um, I would assume she, he would know his mother. But, um, anyway, it's just, it's so amazing. So, guys, when you, I hope that when you search, I don't know, it might be different for you, but when you search and you find something, That you get excited when you find it. You've been searching for this one person who you've been searching. Let's say you start in your 20 looking for people. And you kind of give up because you just weren't finding anyone on your family. Specifically, this one line that they're like, oh, here, work on this. No one wants to work on it because they can't find anything. So you decide you're going to do it. And you're going to work on something. And you just couldn't find it. And you finally found it after how many years later. Oh, I just, I just, or I just get so excited. This is what happened to me, like, I was working on the Renata side, and we found everything up to him so quickly, within, like, four or five weeks of, like, me starting, like, never doing family history, and that's when we decided to move to, um, other areas, and it was because he was born during the Civil War, and we weren't sure who his parents were, most people said he was born during then, but it was hard to know who his parents were, because during the Civil War, they would go and leave, and they would come home, uh, soldiers would get um, leaves. Of, they were in there. They would get sent home. They could resign. Um, sometimes they were on a leave for so many days. Like the way it's it's hard to explain. Um, I will have to do one just on this award. But I'm so excited now. I can take this information because I know when he died. Uh, oh, maybe he didn't fight for the Confederate. Okay, this is, okay, so I'm looking at this wrong. So when you're looking at records, and make sure you really look at them. So George W. Redenauer, December 15, 1863, UA, and then I can, so he died a year later. Now, he did die home. He was sent home to just finish out the rest of his life at um, home, and he did pass away. So, George Jackson Rendauer, um, if we go to Family Tree, um, I don't know why that's a search, but, um, Family Search. I don't want images, I'm on the website. Normally it takes me to the website. I guess not. They're gonna make me actually... They're gonna make me actually... Go and look, type in the website, which I really don't want to do. If, oh, here we go. I need to just bookmark this. So you ever just have sites or websites you need to just bookmark? Okay. Now I know who his father is. We're going to go here. Because I can get to his father really quickly from here. Or George Jackson and our really quickly from here. Uh, maybe. If that will quit doing whatever it's doing. Um... There you go. There's a picture of George Jackson right now. Okay. Um, so George Jackson right now was born the 15th of March, uh, 1864. So he didn't know his dad for very long. In fact, his dad died not long after. I mean, like months after. So, the fact that he never knew his father, it's just, uh, my heart, Ugh. This is why I do family history. Family history can be a tearjerker. Um, I just love that I got to find something neat, and I got to share it with everyone. I am so excited. I cannot 
please. I found a possible link. Because if I can find the father of the other person, I might be able to find him as a as a child in the 1850 census. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. I'm shaking right now. It's oh. This is why you need to do family history, guys, because you'll have cool experiences like this. I wish you could just see my face and how excited I am. I wish you could just know. I could just make you feel how excited I am. This is wonderful. Um, I will show you. This is the other thing that I found. Um, this was on my uncle, and I found that typing in, um, my grandfather, too. Great-grandfather. Great-great-grandfather. Anyway, I found this typing in George Jack's granddaughter. Um, so that was a neat story. Which I hadn't known before. And I thought that was really, really cool. But it's so exciting. Now all the people who um, have been looking for him forever are going to be so possibly excited that I found someone. My cousins. This is really cool. This is this is really neat. I'm going to end the video here so I don't you don't just sit here and listen to me about how excited I am. But um, I hope, in fact, I want to encourage you to take your brick wall and go just search Google Ancestry. Just name it. Just if you've given it a break for a while, just go search it. See what you come up with. See if you can have that I found something moment. Or even not necessarily a brick wall you've been trying to break through. But something that will just give you joy. Like maybe just go search for an ancestor. Just jump and go on and do family history. I just can't tell you how excited I am right now. And I just want you to feel the same thing. So that's why I encourage you to jump on Family His Search Ancestry anywhere that you just, just to go search for an ancestor relative, anything, so you, so you can have these types of experiences too. I mean, I just, family history is so neat. So, so neat. I just, I get experiences like this all the time. But I'm helping people at the Family History Center that the joy they feel, I just, I'm like, that's great. I just love helping people so they can feel the joy of finding something. But I usually don't experience with them, but I just, I can see and kind of feel the joy that they have. But it's not me personally feeling it because it's not my own ancestors. But when it's your own ancestors, it's just, it, isn't it just so amazing, guys? The Lord just blesses us in so many ways, and family history is one of them, and I just love the fact that I possibly found the missing link. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. Okay, I will see you in my next video, and this video is all about how family history makes you feel. Um, so... If you can't tell, I'm super, super excited because I keep talking about it. But this video is getting really long, and it's just me talking about how excited I am. Um, so I will come up out with it. Come up. I will create a video on how to search Google, um, and I'm still looking for ideas for what you guys want to learn. Um, so look for those videos of what people commented in the video I created for that. Um, I'm going to take all those ideas and put them out there. Uh, what people want to learn and create videos based off of that. So look for that too. Um, but I'm going to do a Google search video. Um, and we'll be learning about how to do it from here now. And the regular way of Google. But I'm so excited guys I found something and I just wanted to share this with you because I think sharing things that you find with other people is is a good thing, not a bad thing. So when you find that ancestor that you've been looking for forever, or you're starting out and you found your your father's grandma and you didn't know who she was for the first and you're just so excited because you found that 
link that you didn't know. Like, you knew up to a certain point, but you didn't know past that, and you, find, you found it, and you're just getting started, and that feeling you have, that excitement. I want you guys to experience that, so I'm encouraging you to go out and do family history. Today's a great day to do it, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday.